Hi folks, Shane here. This video is about my trip up to the Adventure Bike Rider Festival up at Ragley Hall last weekend. We had a fantastic time and we all can't wait to go back next year for the 2022 event. Um, in this video, you'll, you'll see us going up, um, me having a quick chat about my new bike and some new kit I've purchased. Um, you'll see me going around the 5K short course on the Honda CRF 300. Um, it was just brilliant fun. And um, I'd like to say thank you to all my mates and all the folks I met up there um, for help making it a fantastic time. Anyway, uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do consider doing so. Um, there's gonna be more videos coming along with um, hopefully some exciting content. But uh, stay safe, see you soon, and I hope you enjoy the video. Cheers now. So, good morning folks. It's Friday, I think it's the 25th, and um, we're off to Adventure Bike Rider Festival up at Ragley Hall. Directly in front of me is Dave on his GSA, and in the front, leading the pack, is my son Mitch on his Triumph Tiger. So, welcome aboard on this journey and on our weekend as always thanks for watching and um, uh, i hope you enjoyed the video cheers now so folks this is northamptonshire we've just left silverstone uh, where my son lives and we're heading towards our first stop banbury to get some provisions for the weekend um, as you can see, the clouds are looking a bit black and uh, full of water, so hopefully they'll pass over. But if they don't, they don't. I'm sure we'll still have a good time. Um, some of the eagle-eyed of you may have noticed them on a different bike. Well, um, last week I sold my GS and got this um, GSA Triple Black. Yeah, uh, fantastic. Um, deal I had up at my friend's barnstormer and um, yeah she's a 2017 one owner and um, it had just under well yeah just just under 7700 miles on the clock when I bought her um, absolutely mint condition um, some of you may be aware I was looking at getting a brand new triple black but um, with all this old lurgy still kicking around and the threat of more lockdowns, I didn't really want to be committing 22 plus thousand pounds on a bike for it to sit on the drive looking at me and laughing. Um, so yeah, I went for this, I uh, got it at a very good price. Um, one of BMW's premium selection machines and I'm very, very pleased with it. Um, it's got all the toys, uh, quick shift or gear shift assist pro and um, yeah absolutely love it. Completely different machine to ride than the GS, I mean I love my old GS as you know but this is a completely different beast. Um, I think it's got a, a later variation gearbox in it so it's nice and smooth um, with or without the gear shift assist pro. Uh, the engine seems to be smoother as well. I think they changed the flywheel on a uh, heavier flywheel. Uh, but yeah, very, very pleased. Very pleased with it. But now she's going to get covered in and mud. <laughs> God knows what else at the ABR Festival weekend. But hey, that's why we have hoses and buckets. My son's on his Triumph Tiger 800. Uh, and he loves it and Dave's on his 1250 GSA uh, which he loves as well so we're three happy campers at the moment three happy campers so another thing about the old um, uh, quick shifter it works fantastically well up and down the box um, very very smooth very very slick and uh, makes the riding experience a lot more pleasurable yeah um, and the sound you get on overrun when you change down pop absolutely brilliant so folks hopefully we're not far from 
Well, our destination now. Um, we've had a bit of rain on the on the journey, but you know, hey, it's not the end of the world. So yeah, hopefully now we are approaching Ragley Hall, home of ABR Festival 2021. I think that might be part of it there. Happy days. Yeah, that looks like it. Look, it says rather grand, isn't it? Cheers, buddy. Mate. Well, we're here. I want to go home now. I've had enough. <laughs> right, let's get checked in and see what it's all about. Folks, day two at Adventure Bike Rider Festival here at Ragley Hall. We've had some cracking fun, we've met some lovely folks, and we've got a, a ride on the Honda CRF 300s at quarter to five this afternoon, which is good. Um, so, looking forward to that. So, we're just gonna fill a bit of time and go for a ride around the local countryside. So this is part of a small part of the main area on the left hand side as you can see all the main players area um, and as I was saying earlier we've met some absolutely fantastic folks uh, big shout out to Sean uh, and to Gareth and you know everybody's been super friendly um, we had some neighbours who, who left and they left us our left us their beer which was really nice um, yeah so definitely definitely booking up for next year as you can see it's, the site is absolutely huge I mean we're in car uh, camping site three there's more camper vans over there it's um, absolutely massive and I have to say big well done to ABR um, for organising this. Um, we wasn't sure if it was going to be on <laughs> due to the old um, uh, Covid but they pulled a blinder. Absolutely brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. And as a first trip for the, the GSA, <laughs> I'm as happy as Larry. Yeah, and uh, I've got the new kit, the Climb Badlands Pro, and 
a new helmet and new boots, new gloves, everything's new. And uh, everything's got a massive tick in the box. I um, mean, it, it was chucking it down on the way up yesterday. But this has got the um, Cortex Pro, so it's laminate. So there's no water ingress into the materials. Uh, absolutely brilliant, absolutely brilliant. Yes, you pay a premium, but it just saves carrying waterproofs and more stuff. Uh, to try and stay dry and we all know that waterproofs no matter how good you know the water will get in somewhere oh what's going on up there then I don't know so yeah as I say adventure bike rider folks brilliant job thanks very much and um, uh, if I could buy ne next year's tickets now I would <laughs> This neck of the woods, up in the Midlands, has got some stunning scenery, it really has. So I think this is Warwickshire, and um, yeah, we've got some lovely old towns and villages to explore, and some lovely roads to ride, and Mitchell's leading the way using his Calimoto app, so it would be interesting to see where it takes us. Joining us on the ride is Gareth. Uh, great lad from uh, down near me. I think he lives in Hastings. And uh, yeah, he's also on a, a GSA. He's got a brand new 1250. Uh, stunning looking machine. Anyway, I'll bring you back when there's something a bit more interesting to watch. That was good, wasn't it? I mean, it was better coming back because of the traffic, but it, it was nice. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, you haven't got to go flat out, have you? But I must admit, I'm enjoying this quick shifter. Pop, pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Just hold it on, and, and you're away.
Right, so here we are on the Honda CRF 300, courtesy of Honda UK, and we're going on apparently the short course. Uh, be interesting. I haven't ridden off road since 1984, I think it is. So yeah, first time I've been off road since 1984, and this is going to be really interesting. So. You won't see any Steve McQueen type antics. It'll just be a pleasant little poodle round. Bit of fun. You going, mate? You alright? Yeah, this is the pace for me. <laughs> Strange old machine to ride, it's a bit on and off, even though it's only a 300. <laughs> it feels like I'm on a little rotavator. Alright, let's relax a bit and loosen my grip before I rip the handles off different to a grass track bike, that's for sure. <laughs>
I'll be honest with you, I'm gripping on a bit tight. <laughs> it's like the handlebars come up like three inches. Yeah, 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 yeah. But they're, they're alright though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a low end, just like in the second way. Yeah, that's what I've done. I got it into third a couple of times because when you guys have gone off, I've given it some down the straights. Oh, it's a bit slippery. Oh, fucking hell. Right. Yeah, it's fun, isn't it? No, nah, you go. <laughs> For me, easy, thank you very much. <laughs>
Good one, eh? Brilliant! Yeah! I think Mitch is advising me that the suspension is really good, and it is, I'll be honest with you. Oh, look at that. Leather against willow. Hmm. Well, that was brilliant fun. I'm not sure if that's it over now. But, uh, no, great, enjoyed that. So, thank you very much, Honda. Excuse me, sir. Sir, can we go again, please, sir? <laughs> that was absolutely brilliant, wasn't it? Yeah, I think the light is going, isn't it? It's a bit different to the old GS, mate, yeah. I'll be honest with you. Well, that was great fun, really was. So it's the Honda Sierra 300. Happy days. Cheers buddy, that was the best, I haven't been off road since 1984 Oh is that right? When I retired from racing, so this is the grass track and speedway And the last time I rode anything like was with Can-Am, do you remember Can-Am? Yeah, yeah. With a bloke called Pete Plummer Hello Pete Yeah yeah yeah, is he still alive? Yeah. Bloody hell, big old boy, yeah. he's big he's old boy now, Yeah, but listen, thank you, that was brilliant, Good, man. spot on Cheers now So folks, that's the end of Adventure Bike Rider Festival 2021 and I have to say we've had a fantastic time met some fantastic folks um, yeah there was a bit of queuing at the beer tent and there's a bit of queuing at the food tents but you know what if that's all you've got to complain about it ain't too shabby is it so once again thank you very much guys everybody Gareth, Mitch, Dave for giving us a fantastic time and making the experience really, really good. Um, yeah, so now it's out we go and home. He's looking forward to 2022. So, there goes Mitch. 